while heading over to the North Valley, where a new study says that a little street improvement can go a long way in stopping prostitution. Anna Marcos has more. Can trimming trees and bushes really take a bite out of crime and prostitution? City leaders and residents in the North Valley are counting on it. The results of their new study tell them to start chopping. I have a business on Lancashire, and when I had a customer walk in my door and say, I almost didn't come in because of all the prostitutes out there, hookers actually, my little four-year-old said to me, Mommy, what's a hooker? You don't want your child to grow up knowing those words. This corner of the valley near Sepulveda and Valerio Street has long been a hotbed of prostitution and sex trafficking. Since I grew up here my entire life, and we've always known that there has been uh, activity, prostitution activity on this track. The difference is, I will tell you, is over the last couple of years, the age of the women who they traffic on this corridor has gotten younger and younger and younger. Last year, the LAPD created its Valley Bureau Human Trafficking Task Force, which targets the pimps, johns, and prostitutes who work the area. How many pimps have we arrested? 22 pimps over, the, over this year alone. City leaders have also teamed up with researchers at Cal State Northridge and released the results of the new study. It shows this area with its dark, unlit streets and parking lots and overgrown bushes does much to encourage shady dealings. What we did, we end up like following the prostitutes and Johns and finding out exactly where they went. There are businesses, there are schools, churches that uh, at nighttime, they are not utilized. Their par parking lots are dark, uh, left empty. Uh, they are not gated. And many Johns and Prosses, they use those facilities. Researchers recommend tree trimming along with added lighting in 40 areas. Other suggestions, new fencing, surveillance cameras, street dividers, and no stopping and no turning signs to give police more reason to stop the violators. But city leaders say they can't do it alone. I'd ask every apartment manager, owner, install cameras. Look at the own lighting on your buildings. Look at motion detectors. Look at having your shrubs trimmed back so people can't hide out in the shadows. Council member Nuri Martinez has come up with $780,000 for the project, a payout city leaders hope pays off big time in reducing the sex trafficking and prostitution that go on in the dark. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. To report sex trafficking and prostitution, visit 647 Tips at LAPD online.